right. Welcome, everybody. Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Quentin King, and we're trying out a new Martin. Uh, this is one of our customs. So we do like a run of uh, different models. So, you know, a couple times a year we do big runs of these. So what we did was uh, a D18 and an HD28, five of each, okay? What these are is what we call kind of our Music Villa specs that we normally do. Uh, it's got a thinner top, a um, couple of different features. I'll go over those in a minute. But these are unique because they're Addy tops. Adirondack spruce. Yep. Adirondack spruce. Red spruce, they call it as well. And, and you know, Adirondack is just, it's a stiffer top than Sitka. Now, I'm not saying one's better or worse. Addy's more expensive. Uh, but, <laughs> but they are different. They are different. They really are um, different. You know, a lot of people get stuck on, I got to have an Addy top. And you don't really always have to. It just depends on what you're doing. You probably would like an Addy top because it's, it's got power. If you're driving it, it can be, it, right? But you I, can I drive think so. it harder. I, my experience has been when, uh, and I, I gave this example when I bought my guitar that we've reviewed, my personal yeah. uh, custom HD28 that has an Adirondack spruce top. And I was comparing it between this guitar and a other standard HD28, which yeah. has what, Sitka. Sitka, yeah. And <clears throat> and this is what we're trying to provide for you now, um, virtually. But if you're uh, trying to choose between tops or guitar woods or whatever, you know, the, it's one thing to play it. But the more important thing to really hear for yourself the difference is to sit out in front while somebody else plays it. And that's what uh, I had somebody do when I bought my guitar, listening to Adirondack and uh, the standard mm -hmm. uh, Sitka Spruce. And it was more expensive. And I was like, well, what's, you know, is it, can I justify the cost? And to my ear at the time and henceforth, uh, the Adirondack was, was a little bit louder. Yeah. And I'd say its, it's tonal profile was broader. Okay. I, I don't know, it seemed a little crisper, but that the, the bass was still very resonant. Well, let me ask you this. Did mm -hmm. your Addy top over the years mm -hmm. warm up, start to warm up quicker? Is it quickly? <sighs> Do you, even re do you recall? It's well, you know, it's hard because uh, to really make that assessment because I haven't had the side by side right. comparison. Yeah. Um, and it's I think it's been so gradual that it, yeah. I wouldn't have if if I could time stamp and go back and listen to it in the beginning, yeah. I could probably make that assessment. All I know is that it it sounds pretty fabulous to yeah. me. Um, so I'll and, tell you about that. So your mm -hmm. guitar, uh, it's called the. Which one is it again? It's, it's a custom gold, version of the... Is it Golden Era? No, it it's an LSV, the large sound hole variant. Oh, I gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there's variations of that guitar, so with mm -hmm. Addy Tops. I don't think Martin's doing it right now. That's kind of another reason why we did this. Mm -hmm. They really don't offer something with this kind of setup with mm -hmm. the Addy Top anymore. So the other thing is the other, a lot of those have the big V neck on it. Right. I know you like it. You, you kind I of, like a wider you don't neck, care typically, yeah. Either way, whatever I hand it, you're like, I don't know, it feels good. But... Some people are very finicky about that the neck and the profile. profile. It mm -hmm. either hurts people or they love it. Mm -hmm. This neck is low profile, yeah. and uh, it's just it's just it's comfy. very comfortable. It's a one and three quarter, so yeah. it's still you so, got enough space there. Right. It's it's a good. I mean, this is this is kind of a nice mixture of all the the features that most folks are looking for. I think if yeah. you if you did a poll of what people want yeah. in in their ideal acoustic guitar, it's going to be represented in the Music Villa custom models because you've got the woods uh, combinations yep. that are going to give you the tone profile and the playability features, whether it's neck width or profile, yeah. uh, the setups are nice. That's what we're trying to go after. We're trying to go yeah. after little markets of things that people have asked us about. Uh, so again, I'm going to say thinner top, which is kind of nice on these Addies. I find sometimes a brand new Addy is... Um, a little stiff, you it's think? a little. It's yeah. It takes a little bit. You gotta you gotta get it warmed up a little bit. It can be maybe bright right out of the box, but uh, loud and bright. But this one with a thinner, it's a little bit thinner. I feel like it uh, doesn't quite do that as much. I feel like it's ready to roll. It's it's warm. I well, I mean, I think it's. Uh yeah, I, you can judge for yourself in, yeah. in the video when we get to a little bit of the strumming playing. Um, and we'll feature the 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 Addy Adirondack twenty eight HD twenty eight yep. against the standard one, and yeah. you know it, yeah. a lot of this is subjective. I you know we know that. And yeah. uh, at the end of the day, this is just a sample. We're just trying to give you a little taste 
Uh, there's no substitute for going to your local music store, flying out to Bozeman if you're not local, mm -hmm. and pulling them off the wall and checking them out side by side. Yeah. You know, that's a great thing. If you did that at a grocery store, people probably get upset when you're yeah. walking through the produce and just tasting everything. It's a great thing about a music store. You can actually pull it off, test it, put it back, try something else till you find that perfect fit. Um, I love Adirondack. I love yep. the sound. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to try like, not to blow the mic out. Yeah, I, think, I like D18s too. So yeah. we're going to do we're going to do a D18. And then we're going to do a HD28. One thing I was going to say real quick too. I was comparing these yesterday. This is the Addy HD28. This is the stock mm -hmm. HD28. And I asked people without telling them what they were. And I got one person said, this one's brighter. And then the other one said, this one's brighter. <laughs> yeah. And it, you get a lot of different tonal uh, variances. So anyways. Yeah. Well, again, decide for yourself. Uh, there's no value judgment. Yeah. Here it's it's really just a sample and and maybe maybe you'll notice uh, some of the most advertised characteristics people ascribe to one word or the other. Maybe you'll come away with a different impression altogether. Uh, at the end of the day, <laughs> bless you. Uh, what at the end of the day, what really matters is that you get the guitar that sounds and plays right for you. So you're just not going to stop talking, right? I mean, no, well, I mean, you're sneezing. I thought I you were going to stop talking so that we could cut and come back in, but no, I'm not. I'm not right. going to stop. That's I'm the, good. This, that's how I'm you back. know this is live and unrehearsed. All right. Is, uh, well, let's just hear did this. You forget thing. your Claritin or something. What? I don't know. I got a little dust in the air. <laughs> I just, yeah. you know, there's nothing yeah, like a big nice. old Martin Dreadnought. They're just, uh, the mahogany's great. It's it's awesome. Quentin, thank you. You bet. Thanks, everyone, for watching. You can see these at musicvilla.com. You can give us a call, and uh, we'll yeah. keep, we'll do these next. We'll do and these. thanks for watching.